Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be working on driving the ball. We're going to be using a wall uh, and then we're going to go into uh, some more specific stuff to help you with driving the ball in a more realistic environment. Uh, the main thing is the, the wall work. The wall work has to be precise and it has to be uh, repetitive and we have to do it correctly. The technique has to be done correctly in order for us to move on to the second phase of these work at home exercises. So make sure you really focus on the wall exercises, the technique aspect of it, uh, and then move on to the exercises that we're gonna do the second half of this video. Make sure you get and spend a couple minutes getting some, some good stretches in. Uh, so right now we're gonna go stationary a little bit. And stationary, this is what we're looking for. The end product, this is what we're looking for, okay? When working with a wall, I'm gonna pick a target, all right? Now, the idea is the wall is here, so from this line, from this line up, it's good. Anything below that, because of working on my drive, it's gonna be bad. Now, there's a freeway on the other side of this thing, so I hope I don't get under the ball too much and hit the ball to the freeway, okay? So the idea is just the technical part, obviously at an angle, all right? I'm gonna approach the ball, right? In order to get the ball up, I just gotta connect under the ball, right? The lower I connect with the ball, the higher the ball will go. And that will depend if I don't take anything off of it, okay? So the drive looks like this, nice and easy, okay? So technically my toe is down, all right, I'm connecting with my shoelaces. I'm also bending my standing leg. Bend that standing leg so you can get under the ball without sacrificing any of the technical aspects of your hitting leg or shooting leg, okay? All right? I can connect here with a solid ankle, right? But if my knee goes a little bit lower, right, now I can really get under the ball without sacrificing any technique. Again. Now I'm always doing the same thing, but my focus is getting under the ball with a locked ankle so the power is consistent. Now, a lot of the things we need to watch out for or that I've seen with younger players or players that lack this ability uh, is their toe goes up, right? So sometimes when your toe goes up, yeah, you can get under the ball, right? But you're only gonna reach, let's say it's a goal kick, right? You're taking a goal kick for your goalkeeper or your goalkeeper taking a goal kick if your toe goes up, sometimes you kill its power. So either, rather than crossing the halfway line, right, it goes to an opposition player, right? So it's very important that on the drive, right, we get under the ball with a locked ankle, solid locked ankle. Okay, this will secure a longer ball, a stronger ball. Now, if you're not successful in terms of how to block the ankle or how to get a strong, stiff ankle, right, I'm gonna leave a link here in a box above, right? And it's gonna take you into some beginner steps in how to really, really secure the ankle so we're connecting strong with the ball. Once you've done that, you come back to this and you can start again with a wall. Now, if you're not dealing with the problem that I have, there's a, there's a big gap in my wall, right? But most of you are gonna be dealing with that if it's a fence in your house and stuff like that. But you can hit the ball as it comes back. If you have a bad shot and the ball is coming back on the ground, make sure you block and it goes. Now, when the ball is rolling towards you and you get under it with a blocked ankle, the odds are the ball will go over the net. So you have to really control that. So right now, what we're gonna try to do is hit it stationary, bring it back, set it down, hit it again, and get the reps in like that. If I see a rolling ball, I'll try to hit it, try to keep it on the ground, right? But that helps with just the blocking of the ankle and the repetition. So from stationary, imaginary line at the half, all right? Okay, not bad. I'm really exaggerating the technique here for a good drive. If I get under the ball, the ball will have a little bit more backspin. Now, it really has nothing to do with how far back you lean and all that jazz, right? It really has everything to do with how far under you get on the ball. Okay, we're gonna
gonna try one on the on rolling, right? Now for a rolling ball, you really don't need to hit very hard, right? The ball does the, the work itself, right? But like we said, a rolling ball, if my toe goes up all of a sudden, right? I sacrifice a lot of power, all right? And that, again, you're trying to clear the ball, you clear it right to defenders instead of trying to clear it to your teammates and all because of that lack of technique, right? So the main thing is ankle locked, stiff leg, right? Present a stiff leg if we really want to get under the ball, right? Really get under the ball. Remember, it's my opposite foot. How low am I getting on that opposite foot, opposite knee, right? Connecting low and getting up so the ball goes up. All right. The lower I get sometimes, the higher I can drive the ball. Okay, don't be afraid to go through the ball. Okay, you can work on your control as well, but that's in another video. Okay, really drive the ball, get the reps in. Okay, and we're moving on. Another great way to work on your drive is um, crossbar challenge, right? The crossbar challenge is a, is a great exercise to really work on your drive. Now, you can begin on the top of your box, trying to get that ball in the air towards the crossbar, right? We have a high target, but we're trying to keep a solid ankle. Remember what we said, we, we're trying to keep a stiff, strong leg, getting under the ball, right? and then my opposite leg is gonna bend a little bit so I can really get. So what we're looking for is anything over the crossbar is great. Anything under, then we need to adjust the technique, okay? Now, the crossbar challenge is great because most of the time you have a goal at practice, you go to practice maybe two or three times a week, right, and there's a goal out, right? Well, instead of just shooting, right, get a ball, get a couple balls. If you're early, ask the coach for some balls, line them up on the top of the box, and then start driving them into the crossbar. Okay, again, what we said is we're looking for anything hitting the crossbar or over, nothing under, okay? Again, strong, present a strong leg, right? Remember, opposite foot bends to really get under the ball while keeping the technique. That's key, right? Keep that technique. Okay? Took a little bit off it, but again, I'm going above the crossbar, okay? Once you have a little bit more control on your drive, you can start hitting that crossbar. Okay, control drive. Now, if that was a little too close for you, you can start backing up and where you feel comfortable, you can start hitting the ball, okay? We'll back up, let's back up to the halfway line right now. Okay, now I'm at the halfway line, All right? I'm comfortable with my drive. I can start driving, trying to do the same thing. Uh, you don't have to go as far as the halfway line. Um, you can go a little bit closer, gradually start moving back, okay? So the idea is to keep the same drive. Halfway line, what we're gonna look for is to hit the crossbar or over the crossbar would be great. That wasn't bad, I can work with that. Right? But my drive will get stronger and stronger where I don't need to force my body. I just block that ankle and the ball will fly. So hopefully those repetitions work for you at home. Uh, do them, let me know what you think. Um, use the repetitions on the wall along with trying to hit the crossbar when you go to your practice. And hopefully in a few weeks you can start really driving that ball. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. So do a wall exercise, right? And right now, I'm not gonna really focus on getting under the ball, rather than just my standing or my, my kicking leg, right? It's gonna be stiff, right? Everything from my knee on down is gonna be strong and stiff, right? From the top of my hip, right? My whole leg becomes one, right? Sometimes there's a big hinge here in the knee, takes away the power. Big hinge in the ankle, you take away the power. So we want to present a strong 
stiff leg there. And, and all we're gonna do right now with the wall is block, okay? Now, this wall may be a little sketchy, but I have to try to keep it down, right? So I'm blocking, right, see that? Now, it's not gonna be as accurate. I'm only focused on a flex strong ankle, toe down, connecting with the laces. And I have to adjust to the wall, right? Notice, my foot is not going anywhere, my leg is not going anywhere, it's staying down. Okay? So everything is here, it just stays. When we get to the drive, what we're gonna do is, when I hit the ball with a strong ankle, we said the knee's gonna bend a little bit lower so I can really get under the ball, right? And my leg is gonna go up, but as it goes up, it stays strong, stays locked. Everything stays locked. That's why we're working on the one touch repetition, block on a locked leg. Now I say locked leg, not locked ankle, not locked knee, because your whole leg from here, knee, ankle, has to be strong, has to be locked. Lock, lock. Okay, 